5G presents great opportunities, especially for people like me who stream live on various social networks. And if we can reach out to more people across the world affordably, I think that's a great opportunity. One of the exciting things about 5G is that it enables this layer of artificial intelligence that isn't possible today. Because that speed allows us to have processing around emotions and understanding what other people are seeing and feeling in a way that we just can't do today. Not just my devices, but also my friends and family so that in real time, I can be able to not just see them, but also feel their presence in the room next to me, even though they may be half a world away. The real opportunity, I think, is the virtualization that we have experienced as humans. We have moved ourselves and all of our things that we own into a virtual world, but we don't know how to interact with them. In the future, there will be a scenario where our homes actually understand us more than we understand ourselves, for our homes to actually talk to us, or even more importantly, serve us. And as we are perhaps on our way home, the car tells the house where we are, and as we're outside, the house has prepared our dinner for us, and it's waiting for us as we come through the door. Their challenges with 5G are going to be with sensors, the amount of sensors that are going to be needed in order to allow a car to drive or a person to be followed in a smart city is massive and the massive data that's going to be collected. It's going to be an overwhelming chore to store. 5G is going to fuel the future for all of us in our connected roads, in our smart homes, in our smart cities, which means that when we think of healthcare, when we think of emergency response, when we think of business opportunities, 5G is about speed, and speed is everything when everything is connected.